so excited to be sharing with you a fun project uh, for today's crafting workshop. Mindy is also with me. Mindy, say hi. Hey. There she is. Hopefully you can see us both. I was hoping that um, it looks like, actually say hi again, Mindy. We'll see if it pops through you. Hi. Okay. Hey, everybody. So when you talk, it's popping to you and then back to me. I was hoping it would pin us both, but I don't think it wants to do that today. All right, so yes, let me show you back what we are going to be sharing. So Mindy created this adorable banner using the Harvest a la carte. And so I thought I wanted to learn how she did it. And she said it came together really quickly. So we are gonna just walk through those steps um, in hopes that it also inspires you to put together a really simple um, fall decor for your home and then also share some other fun because we, we love fall. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> um, and, but we were just talking about the, the fact that, you know, it is November, but this really is a simple banner, like something you could do this weekend. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you could do a whole banner in an hour or less. So if yeah. you wanted to pull it together for a, you know, Thanksgiving dinner or, you know, just to finish out November, you could definitely do it. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of fall, even though, you know, some of the stores are already putting out Christmas. That was like two months ago they were putting out Christmas. But yeah, <laughs> you know, let's enjoy the rest of fall. All right. So share away, Mindy. Give us a. All right. So first step is to go to the store. See if you can find some fall fabric. <laughs> I picked out, um, I mean, you could get whatever, but I picked out some, some gingham fabric and I tried to pick fabrics that I'm kingdom yeah I tried to pick fabrics that kind of had some texture so you'll notice on this teal one it kind of has a kind of a I don't know a washed look so it kind of gives some texture to it mm -hmm. um and then I had the plaid and some green plaid and then a solid yellow but so just pick out you know what however many colors you want I did let's see, five. So, um, and then I, so the first picture I shared, I was in the doctor's office in the waiting room. And so I was like, I'm going to make use of my time. So I traced out all my pumpkins. I just used a pen that I had in my purse and I just pulled out my fabric on my lap and I traced out all my pumpkins. I got all my pumpkins done in like 15, 20 minutes, if that. Um, and I traced, let's see, I think I did five of each color, um, but I didn't end up using, I think I had one left over of each of the colors. So however long your banner is, I did a double layer, you'll see in that picture. So, but however many you think you need. Um, and then um, I also used um, some burlap paper and I cut out some leaves with burlap paper. You can get it in a stack or whatever um, with the fall design kit leaves. We have lots of leaves though. You could choose whatever leaves you wanted. I used the fall design kit. Um, I think it's fall number one. Yeah. I say number one. And that's in and, But I also did some out of oak, which was in a past Kiwi Club last year. So. And that fall um, leaf was in the, um, or the fall design kit, right? Which we're going to share another really cute yes. using this kit because it is really fun if you don't have it yet. But this, these leaves both are very cute. But yeah, like if you have Tiny Holiday, I think Tiny Holiday, has yeah. a, it's a little smaller. So the oak one's cute, but that was from, gosh, 2019. Um, the oak, yeah, I think it was 2019 in um, the... I don't know. Really. <laughs> October, it was October 2019, but I can't think of the name. Yeah. All yeah. right. So anyway, so I trade, you just trace them all out. Now I did not have, so I went, we all have this problem. I'm sure I went looking for my fabric scissors. Do you think my fabric scissors are still fabric scissors? No, because they've cut open you know, otter pops and everything sticky that they could cut open. And so now they don't cut fabric. So I pulled out my trusty 
simple oh, scrapbooking scissors. Everything. I that's what <laughs> because, I felt. Um, yeah, the, these only cut paper. And usually when scissors cut paper, other scissors cut paper, they won't cut fabric anymore, but these still do. Yeah. And they cut very smoothly. So this is what I got out and I just um I actually separated it just like you would um scrapbook paper. I cut them all apart. So I wasn't dealing with large pieces of fabric. So I just cut them all apart um, like that. And then I cut out the pumpkins. I kept, so when you buy material, it's folded, right? It's folded in half. The right side is facing out. I left it that way so that I could cut both of my pumpkins at the same time. Um, and don't worry about the pen. A lot of people, you know, you might think you should use pencil so that it doesn't show. The pen will not show because if you cut out both sides at the same time, you can turn the pen side around to the back and it won't show. Even if it, you know, if you cut it out, there won't be much that shows anyway, but it definitely won't show if you just turn it around. So don't worry about the pen. Pen is easier to trace on fabric because it doesn't get caught. Sometimes pencils get caught in the, in the fabric and such, but yeah. Um, okay. I've used fabric pens before, like where they can like wash out. But for this project, I'm totally with you. I think it's just a base. Yeah. It sounds like it was easy. Yeah. Yeah, it was super easy, super fast. The pen just goes really smoothly over the fabric. So, um, all right. And then you're going to, so then I, I got out my sewing machine and quickly, I just started on one side of the stem. And I just quickly did a straight stitch with my sewing machine. I kind of tried to follow the edge around. I was not trying to be accurate. This is definitely a, you know, rustic, I guess, um, project. I, I just followed the curve as best I could. Didn't worry about any, you know, misshaping, especially on the bottom where the pumpkin little lumps are. Just follow as best you can. Um, with right sides out. And then I took two cotton balls and kind of pulled them apart. So when you stitch, leave the top open where the stem is. I left a little hole there. So I just ended and started on each side of the stem. And then I left the stem open so that I could put my cotton balls in. I took two cotton balls and I just pulled them apart like this. And I just stuffed them in that hole. I put one on each side of the big part of the pumpkin. And so then it was kind of, kind of gave it some thickness a little bit, but not, I mean, not too bulky, but it just kind of puffed it out a little bit. So you'll notice um, there's two cotton balls in there. Then I put in the, cinnamon stick. I went and bought cinnamon sticks. I was like, I wonder if they'll smell. They don't. So you can use whatever, but I like the cinnamon stick because it gave that natural texture of a pumpkin stem. So you can buy these in bulk at like Winco or probably any grocery store yeah. you can buy them. But. Or you can go pick up twigs in the back of your house if you yeah. want. Yeah, go find some sticks. They're all the sticks same size of and, and thickness too. So that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So they're cheap if you buy them in bulk, but yeah, if you bought them in a, like a container in a grocery store, they're probably a little bit more expensive. So I would recommend, yeah. I didn't even think about going to my yard and getting sticks, <laughs> but we have a lot of sticks in our backyards. I guess. Good idea. <laughs> so anyway, you poke it in the, the top like that. And um, this is where it gets a little tricky but not too tricky so I use this like just thin twine for my banner so I cut out a big I just guesstimated how much I needed and I laid it on my table and to adhere these to the to the twine I laid them on top of my twine I kind of like did one at a time and spaced them out but you it'll slide across there then I took this green raffia and I'm going to put this pumpkin down so you can see. And I, I just crisscrossed it on the back 
and then came around the front and tied it on to my pumpkin stem. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So here, I have a picture of that too. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. So you could, you could, if you wanted, like tie this around the stem first, but then I, I wasn't sure, then I would have to like weave the twine up underneath to hook it to the, the banner. So I just laid it on top of the twine I was using for my banner and then tied everything on with the green raffia to adhere the pumpkins to that banner yeah. twine. And I think anything you have, like whether it's uh, some twine, I was just twine, raffia, whatever. Yeah, you could use twine, yarn, ribbon, anything like that. So just to kind of close that hole up and tighten it all together. Yeah. yeah. So, and that's it. That's done. I laid the leaf on top at the same time that I did that. So I had these together. I laid the leaf on top because the leaf has a little stem thing, I guess you could call it. I laid that on top and then I just adhered everything at the same time with the green raffia. So, and it was done. And then I hung it up and it was super fast. And it's so cute. So I was like, I want to make one. So I started to cut one out of felt because I wanted to kind of see what it's, I'm not done with mine. I, I'm working on it. But the, the thing about felt, if you've never used designer templates for felt too, I always recommend, and I think this is really great because she shared how like with fabric, you just use a pen to trace it on. But with felt, it has um, a rough yeah. edges. And so really it's, it's not as easy to trace things on too. So the trick here is to use freezer paper and you just iron the freeze, freezer paper onto your felt. And if you haven't done that, we have a blog post, you can go search for how to uh, create with felt on the blog. But that's really the general concept here is that you just, then you just trace it on like with a pencil and then cut it out and you get your little felt pieces. So it could be felt or fabric. And in this case, um, and the freezer paper just peels right off. It doesn't yeah, leave it any residue right or anything. Correct. So. Yeah. So like I just took that off and you can throw that away after you're done tracing and cutting it out. And then you're left with these little pieces. Um, and then I was going to take just some, you know, do a top stitch. So if you don't have a sewing machine, for example, and you could even do this with fabric, just take a needle and thread and do like a top stitch and then put those together that way. It might take a little bit more time, but something that you But it do. should still be pretty quick. Yeah, like, like just a quick stitch, them. like no, doesn't need yeah. to be accurate. <laughs> or at the doctor's office, like you said, waiting, yeah. in the waiting room, um, but super cute banner. So if you're inspired, of course, we would love to see your versions of how you create one and what that looks like. Cause I definitely was inspired when she shared it. I was like, that you so could, hard. yeah, there's, lots of versions it would be so fun to see people's different versions because there's so many different designer templates you can use yeah a very, if like, you wanted to make a christmas one or other fall shapes there's lots of options yeah so. but pumpkins speak to me so like yeah well pumpkins are a universal fall item yeah. so so that is uh fall decor number one and then i thought we'd just take a moment while we're sharing kind of those step-by-steps is just to share um, other fun designs. So I had this one right here, this uh, fun, I used the wood circle, of course, and the harvest again, and in this case with some tiny plants, and um, super cute. I, this, this sits on my man, or little tear tray, and it's so much fun. Actually, it was Halloween on one side, and then the fall on the other side. So definitely using those designer templates for versatile different ways to kind of share your little bit of um, expression in your home decor is super fun. I always enjoy that. And then Minty just whipped this up yesterday. She's or whatever it was like, she's like, hey, yeah, it was yesterday. Oh, but... yesterday. She just whips it up. It's so <laughs> cute. Let's see yours. Okay. So I put the fall design kit, um, along with the harvest a la carte. So it's definitely loaded with pumpkins and leaves. And, um, so you'll notice I, I used the cutouts on the harvest pumpkin to add a little plaid um, color there on top of my pumpkin. And then I painted, I just painted the wood um, pumpkin in the fall design kit. I added the leaves, layered them in there. Uh, this leaf is kind of 
uh, I left it not adhered on the top, so it kind of sticks out a little bit to add some more dimension. I added some buttons down here, and then I painted the autumn um, word down at the bottom. So it was really fun to put together. I added some twine for some texture. I love adding, it's funny with DIY stuff, you always want like the texture things. Like it's, that's what I was looking around the office for. I'm like, we need some buttons or some twine or something. So I hunted it down. But. Well, let's make fall last a little bit longer, I say. <laughs> And if you want to order these items that we shared, um, definitely if you place your order soon, you'll get them really quickly, probably within, well, with the weekend, right by early next week, most likely too. So um, we have the harvest, the fall design kit, the harvest and the wood circle. I'm trying to remember, those are all 25% off only through the 15th though. Um, but definitely check them out. And like always, if you're inspired, we'd love to see what you create with them here. I'm going to put that link back into the bottom, um, so that you guys have it, or it's up in the description. So either one, or if you, um, have these already, then go pull them out and create, create some one last minute fall decor. Um, and then of course we'd love to see it. So, yeah, we would definitely love to see them. Love it. Always fun to see what other people make. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. I, I just saw the comment. A whip stitch. It's yeah, like a blanket stitch. Oh, yeah. Right, Jenny. Sorry. I did say top stitch, but you're 100% right, right is what I was implying on that felt. Well, and I think it would be so cute too that because I was going to do like um, this yellow twine. So using just like a different color around it. Anyways, yeah. I'm going to finish mine. I'm going to share it with you guys. And I'm going to hold her to that. I know. I, I'm, I'm getting there. It's getting done. It's been crazy in our house. We've had a few kids with <laughs> and just different things, but I could use a little bit of uh, creating R&R &R right now, I think. <laughs> so I look forward to that. I'm going to put some music on and just soak in uh, a little bit of creating. So, well, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Hopefully uh, that is something that speaks to you. And then um, of course, like always, we'll see you in the community. And for those of you that signed up for the class tomorrow, I'll be seeing you guys uh, tomorrow night for that. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye now.